Welcome to what I'm dubbing the 2023 State of the Channel Address. There's a couple things I want to cover, where I've been, where the channel is headed, related YouTube channels, new year, new goals, and a quick Q&A from the Discord channel. I have my notes so I don't miss anything, so let's jump right into it. Now, if you follow the channel for a while, you've noticed that I haven't really put on anything in the past two, two and a half months. And here's why. It's been pretty hectic. For one thing, I'm in the process of moving. I'll talk about that in a second. I had a lot of stuff going on at work. I'm actually starting a new job at a new organization this week. Uh, I was in the process of buying two trucks. Now it's down to one truck, thankfully. Uh, I got caught in snow apocalypse out in the Midwest and just all sorts of things and a lot of other personal life things and it just had no time to put out content. I actually have a video that's about 90% done and I just haven't been able to finish it. So things are in the works, it's just been a little slow. So with me moving, I'm in the process of moving to Georgia. Uh, with the new home, there's a lot of renovations we need to do, some things I need to change in the kitchen. So it's gonna be a little rough for a while. It's, it's, it's gonna get there. One of the things that I may have to do is actually shave my beard. If you've done any sort of uh, construction work, you know that to get a nice seal with an N95, or a respirator, you beards don't really work too well. So I don't know, I might have to shave it. We'll see. So with that, where the channel is headed, a uh, couple things. One, I went through all the survey results that everybody filled out and I am so appreciative for all of you who took the time to do that and your messages and your, your it's just, it's incredibly inspiring. And with those survey results, there was a common thread or common threads amongst all of them. One was lack of time, lack of variability, want delicious food, and missing bread. And so that's gonna sort of help guide the channel moving forward, and for good reason. So my nutritional requirements have changed. I've been playing with diets, and f diets in a sense of like, you know, just a, normally what you eat, not like trying to lose weight type of thing, for the better half of 15 years. I've basically tried it all. Paleo, carnivore, keto, low carb, low fat, uh, high protein, vegetarian, not vegan, that's, I just, I can't do that one. Uh, basically all of them. And the one that I have come back to, both based on scientific and empirical data, is a high protein, low carb, pretty high fiber, and moderate, you know, restricted calorie diet. And that's based on blood work, how I feel, and just all sorts of things, so it's not just me coming up with stuff out my butt. But the one thing I want everyone to understand is if you try a diet and you have success with it, that doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody else. So I know this is probably gonna upset a lot of the keto police people, whatever, but keto doesn't necessarily work for me blood work wise. And I've, I've done it the right way, don't worry. It's not this like, oh, you didn't measure carbs. It doesn't necessarily work for me. So that said, moving forward, I'm gonna focus on these sorts of things. I'm gonna focus on low carbon keto friendly meals but I'm not gonna shy away from a small use of carbs. Like you may see some sugar, you may see some flour, and you're definitely gonna start to see the incorporation of fruits in a lot of things. Uh, not a lot, but it, it's, I'm not gonna shy away from it. I'm more on a low carb diet than I am keto, so I'm not afraid of it. I'm gonna go into that hopefully in another video at some point about how apples have kind of saved my diet. I'm also gonna focus on quicker meals. That's 20 to 30 minute meals that I need for dinner and I know everybody else needs because we all have hectic lives and don't really have the time to dedicate or as much time as we'd like to dedicate to cooking long, heavy, uh, really specific meals. Prime examples are my pizza video. The, the pizza is an incredible recipe, but it takes some time commitment, especially if you're gonna let it ferment um, and, uh, and rest and do a double fermentation. Um, or the ice cream video. The ice cream video is, it, ice cream is incredible, but it's the shortcut version. It's not even the full-fledged version. And I understand that we don't have time or as much time as we'd like to dedicate to these things. So they're kind of special occasion uh, recipes and meals that we make for when we have time, say like a weekend or something like that. So I'm gonna focus more on quick meals that you need every day that are variable and just work great. And that also goes into meals that everyone enjoys. One of the prizes that I have one of the prides that I have in my recipes is that people who are both keto, low carb, and not on any specific diet, enjoy them. I have so many comments from people specifically on the pizza that they were afraid it wasn't gonna taste great, they fed it to their family and nobody even knew, everyone enjoyed it. 
That's what I want. I want meals that everybody can enjoy it, but fit within your calorie and macros that you want to achieve. So that's where I'm gonna focus on that part. I also want to focus on more high protein snacks and even protein shake videos. This is something that I did on my first YouTube channel, which I'm gonna get to in a second, and it works really great. Uh, being on a high protein diet, you have to find ways to get protein in, and protein shakes have saved me in terms of desserts, having those quick meals and all sorts of things, and I have a lot of recipes in my repertoire and a lot that I've been working on that I just need to unveil. I also wanna focus on kitchen tools and techniques. This is something that I've been meaning to do for a long time, I just haven't found a good way to get to it. Uh, techniques like braising, roasting, uh, slicing, cutting, all those little things that save time and just make the pleasure of cooking that much more uh, fun, because cooking should be fun. This is supposed to be something that we do every day and it, it fits a chore, it's, it's not good. It's, you want it to be fun. Um, I also test a lot of tools. I have blenders that I've been testing for a long time. I have a knife that I've been testing for the better half of five months. I just haven't gone around to doing a full review of it because I want that long-term uh, review. And I wanna do these sort of tools and techniques because it brings value. And tools are things that uh, use every day and actually make things better. Uh, even things like, you know, towels. You don't have to do anything fancy. I've talked, done a video on the five things that I, under $5 that you should have in your kitchen. I'm not looking for anything crazy. Sometimes things might get expensive like this KitchenAid. Ugh, I can't bring it in. You know, but that's a tool. If you're not doing a lot of baking or a lot sort of things, it's whatever. But I do have a lot of things I wanna review and bring to you guys that bring value and save money. And in terms of techniques, say something like peeling a butternut squash without wanting to throw it through a window. I think we've all experienced that. So how videos will change. I'm still going to do very, I'm still going to do story driven videos, but they're not gonna be as often. For example, I have this King Arthur Keto wheat pizza pre-mix that I've had on my shelf for testing for the, packs, for the past four months. I haven't gotten around to it. So I have my ice cream videos and the pasta things that I wanna explore and you know, might see more fat Mike, let's say in some of these videos. But I also wanna try and do some maybe longer form content in terms of uh, say like 20, 30 minute actual cooking videos. Things like that I used to watch as a kid and I still watch like Julie Child and Jacques Pepin and Yang Can't Cook and those sorts of things that were just fun. I don't know, but I, I enjoy watching people cook. I think it's just because I grew up in the kitchen and just it's a social thing for me and I just enjoy watching people cook. So it might be something I do, you know, I don't want it, it's something just put on casually watch, but also get ideas and be inspired for recipes and all sorts of things. That said, what you won't see on this channel. TikTok hacks, two ingredient insert recipe here, and just those sorts of things. It's contrary to what the channel is about and why I started this YouTube channel to begin with. The idea of this channel was to show people how to cook healthy and delicious, deliciously healthy. And that's what I wanna achieve. I'm not into doing hacks because that's not cooking. It's sort of like, especially like the, the, the two ingredient pizza, the sauce and cheese. I'm sure that works, but it's not cooking. It doesn't teach you any good skills or anything that you can actually share with somebody. And it's just, it's not what this channel is about. So you'll never see it on here ever. I'm, I hate it. And speaking of why I started this channel, I wanna talk about related YouTube channels. I've been making YouTube videos for the better half of 11 years across five channels. And I know a lot of those channels are, are either not active anymore and those sorts of things. If you've seen my first channel, I know at least one of you have, uh, link it down below, let me know about it. That channel was focused on health and nutrition. It was the first channel I did and it had a lot of protein recipes and those sorts of things. I'm gonna bring a lot of those back and kind of uh, reintroduce them into this channel. But some of my other channels I've stopped doing because it was unrelated stuff, but I do have a channel that's been dormant for about a year that I started that I'm going to revisit now with my move to Georgia. With this move to Georgia, I plan on doing a lot more things outdoors, which are things I like to do, hiking, archery, learning to hunt. And with that, I hope to have sort of the more vlog style-ish of me learning how to do these things and just improving and sort of as, especially as an adult onset hunter. That said, I hope to have some wild game to work with, which you'll see on this channel. We'll see. 
I do want to keep this channel strictly cooking for say. I, I know a lot of people talk to me about doing health and fitness type stuff, but I don't really want to focus on this channel. That might be another channel coming. We'll see. Time is of the essence. Maybe if I get an editor somehow. But it kind of bleeds into the next thing of new year, new goals. Everybody sets new goals when January comes around, uh, especially if it's health and fitness related. There's a lot of people out there that can help you on how to set better goals, why, and all sorts of things. But I do want to say this. If one of your goals is to get in shape for 2023, sign up for a 5K. Just do it. You will be surprised how quickly you can do it and the things you learn are incredible. I'm living proof of somebody who couldn't run a quarter mile without feeling like they were going to have a heart attack just eight months ago. And through that, maybe not even eight months ago, maybe six months ago, I don't know, whatever it was. And in this short time span of following, I started following the Catch the 5K program. I'll leave the link to that below. I got to a spot where I was running nine miles. And I, if you had told me that a year ago, I would have told you you're better off playing in the lotto because you have a higher chance of that than me ever running more than two miles. And yet here I am. I plan on going into that maybe another video. I don't know. We'll think about it. But I also want to talk about a little bit the goals that I have for this channel. I want to deliver more value to you guys, especially the Patreon viewers and Patreon subscribers. Uh, I want to find better ways to teach healthy cooking and in an entertaining way. I want to do more collabs. And I also want to foster a larger community that can help each other in terms of uh, recipes, uh, guidance, and those sorts of things. The Discord channel's been great. A lot of people in there talk about what they're working on and things they can substitute, difficulties that they're having and how they can overcome them, and it's been great. And I'm gonna get to sort of the Discord Q&A here in a little bit. Uh, I also wanna reach 100K subs. It was something I was delusional about and I thought I could do in a year, like three, four years ago, but here we are. Hopefully we can get there. We'll see. Do something special if we do. Q&A from Discord. I asked in the Discord channel if anybody had any questions that I could answer. So these are the three that I got. The three that I got. What low carb items options do you keep on hand or prep ahead? So the past two, three months has been really interesting because I haven't been doing a lot of cooking. But things that I always have ready are egg whites, pre-prepared egg whites from cartons. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot easier and time saving than cracking six, seven eggs and separating the eggs and the whites and the yolks. And then what do I do with the yolks? Another thing I keep is protein powders. I keep wide erase, uh, unflavored, flavored, uh, chocolate, vanilla, those sorts of things. I also keep protein bars. And I know that's not, I don't really snack, but uh, it's great for in between meetings that I need to grab something quick and eat because I'm starving. I do try to keep onions cut and some other things, but like I said, the past two or three months has been kind of, kind of reduced. So I'll plan on going more into that sort of like meal prepping or not meal prepping, but meal prepping video type things uh, in the future. In reference to the new house, the new kitchen, are there cupboard doors? Yes. And will you take them off so we're not distracted? I don't think so. Maybe. We'll see. When are, pri when are high protein snacks coming? Like I said earlier, it's gonna be a lot of the stuff that I start transitioning to with protein recipes for shakes, for dessert, meal replacements, those sorts of things, and even just high protein snacks. So they're coming, they're at the top of the list. They'll be here soon. And with that, I wanna thank you all for listening. Maybe if this gets really good ratings, reviews, likes, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it a week, monthly occurrence, or maybe bi-weekly, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it'll give it a nice name, like the Not So Serious Black Tie Kitchen Podcast. That's a good ring to it. So, until next time, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.